Did you know that Alaska is home to some of the most important and majestic, awe-inspiring wild animals in the world? Join us on a journey through the untamed landscapes and get up close and personal with some of the most iconic wild animals of Alaska in this epic compilation video. It's a trips are always somewhat uncommon for us who live in the backcountry of Alaska. So when we get a chance to take the roads and explore this amazing state, we like to take the unexpected detours. On this trip, I'm super excited to share with you what we found. <laughs> We are going on a dog mushing tour with Susitna Sled Dog Adventures in Talkeetna, Alaska. Our friends Roan and Alyssa Boozer are professional dog mushers. They are like racing royalty in this area of Alaska because Roan is a second generation musher. They take us on a tour of the kennels, let us pet the dogs, we then connect the dogs to the winter ready sled and off we go into the wild frozen adventure. If you're ever in Talkeetna area and care to experience this for yourself, then reach out to Roan and Alyssa at Susitna Sled dog adventures. I know they will be thrilled to take you on a tour. Kiribu, right out in the middle of this riverbed. That's pretty fun to see. No bears around this morning, I guess that's good. There's a squirrel in this tree that's pretty upset with me. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> safer here next to the road because the bears and the wolves love to eat baby moose and so she has a better shot of those little babies surviving if she hangs around with us. As you can see this is wild and untouched. This this is Denali National Park is, is several million acres of untouched wilderness. Caribou were plentiful in the park. This is at Savage River Campground. Just outside the campground maybe Oh, about a 10 minute walk from our campsite, these herds of caribou were coming through various times of the day and they were quite, quite close to us and wonderful to watch. Wild and beautiful. Caribou herds pass through the park into their summer range and then back into their winter range and some spend most of their lives in the park. These caribou were just a few feet away, maybe uh, less than 100 feet away. They wandered their way to us and walked past us and, and headed up river. I think they're looking for food. You can see it's not yet summer and things are brown and gray and there's not much for them to eat. Um, they're already shedding their winter hides. As you can see, the holes in their winter coats are shedding away, and their antlers are in velvet. 
This is Denali National Park. And this is at the Savage River Campground. Young Moose plays with one of the gates to the entrance of the park. The railroad track hauling the train through Denali National Park is a favorite for Moose. This big bull will be nearly 1,200 pounds with 60 to 70 inches of antlers by fall. But he's friendly and just browsing on the side of the road, eating willow branches. Peaceful, majestic, stunningly beautiful, but very intimidating. Powerful creatures, seemingly docile, but can be very dangerous. Everyone, that is a ptarmigan ubiquitous all over Alaska in the high country. In the winter they turn white and in the summer they've got this gorgeous golden brown and black plumage. His feet are covered in feathers to keep him warm in the winter because they live basically on the snow. He's probably looking for his girlfriend and he's not happy about me being here. Another day in the life of living my Alaska Denali National Park. Can you see the rabbit? That's a snowshoe hare with his spring and summer coat. Don is trying to sneak up and get a better photo. So Don is creeping around the other side and he's got his backside to Don, so she might get lucky because he's more worried about me. Oh, he spots her. One of the lessons about spotting wildlife in Alaska is to just be patient go slow and you'll be amazed at what your eye will catch if you just go slow enough and look around and be patient the wildlife will show up it's here so we're coming up on a bison herd here i think historically bison were part of alaska but they were gone for a while but bison have been reintroduced into alaska see some little babies in there some young calves and that's definitely a big bull bison right here in front of me and several other bulls so here at the Alaska Wildlife Center, you can adopt an animal and help them fund the research and the care of these creatures. There are two types of bison apparently. I did not know this. Plains bison and wood bison. Wood bison are the larger of the two. We feel so very blessed that you all come along with us as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through a wildlife in this great land. 
Now here's a video I think you'll really like. Join me there. Let's go.